coral reefs come in a variety of different shapes and forms, depending on where they are and the forces they are subjected to. Fringing reefs grow around continental islands, and sometimes along the mainland. This living skirt of coral develops along the shoreline and grows out towards the sea. Because of their proximity to terrestrial environments, the fringing reefs are often influenced by nutrient runoff and sedimentation. They are home to an amazing variety of species that are resilient to these conditions and can have a higher diversity than offshore reefs. Typically, gardens of large algae and soft corals dominate these communities. Over time, fringing reefs around volcanic islands may become coral atolls. They surround the edge of the island, and as the volcano sinks, the corals continue to grow towards the surface, forming a ring of reef around a central lagoon. Platform and patch reefs grow up off the bottom of the ocean until they reach the surface and spread out sideways. The exposed reef front is a major source of sediment as corals and coralline algae are constantly grazed and broken up by wave action. This sediment fills in the reef structure growing behind. Delicate branching corals and coral heads often characterise the sheltered waters of the back reef. Ribbon reefs are elongated platform reefs that grow along the edge of the continental shelf. They are also called outer barrier reefs. They are riddled with narrow passages and inlets that drain and fill the lagoon during tidal change. A number of these distinct formations run along the northern Great Barrier Reef of Australia.